In this video, we are going to be discussing how to convert decimal fractions from base 2 to base 10. Yeah, binary questions are very common questions in mathematics. And um, one of the things that gives students on an uphill tax is actually converting fractions, decimal numbers, from base 2 to base 10. Okay, if this is your first time of hitting this channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more updates from us. So, if you are given a question such as um, 0 0.1011 base 2 to base 10. Now, in order to convert this, you don't just do this just like the ordinary binary because here we have a, de a decimal, like a fraction. So, in this case, the first thing I'm going to advise you to do is spell out the numbers boldly. 1011 base 2. Okay, so now we have zero on this side. So this side is going to be ineffective. So this side is going to be, after the decimal, you're going to have the year will be minus one. This is going to be minus two. This is going to be minus three. And the last number here, it's going to be minus four. So this is going to be zero point. Then this is going to be one times the base two or raised to power what? Minus one. So that's the essence of the minus one plus zero times two raised to power minus two plus we have one times two raised to the power minus three plus one times two raised to the power minus four having done that okay so uh, this is going to be um zero point this is your point one times two raised to the power minus one it's two raised to the power minus one is something as half this is going to be plus this is a uh, zero because zero multiplied by anything is going to give us zero so this is 2 raised to the power minus 3, which is um, 1 over, that's 2 raised to the power 3, and that's um, 8 plus, this is going to be 1 over 2 raised to the power 4, and that will give us um, 1 over 16. So this is going to be 16. Okay, now this is going to be 0 point, okay, so this is going to be half plus, okay, half is, um, is 0 0.5 plus, it's going to be 1 over 8. Now, when you do 1 divided by 8, you are going to get 0 0.125 plus. Then 1 over 16 is going to give us 0 0.0625. So, when you sum this part of the equation, you are going to get... Okay, so I need to scroll down so you can see. So, when you sum that part of the equation, you're going to get 0 point. Our final answer, that is going to be 0 0.6 eight seven five base ten so as easy as that that's exactly how to convert uh, decimal fractions from base two to base ten now i'm going to be giving you a second example so that you can get to understand it very well now let's convert let's convert base 1.101 base 2 to base 10 okay so now we have the right hand side and the um, left hand side having numbers. So I'm going to display my number boldly, base two. So it, remember in your decimal, this works exactly the way you convert from base two to ten. So this is going to be zero. It's going to be one. It's going to be minus one, and this is going to be minus two. So here we have um one times two raised to the power one plus one times two raised to the power zero. Then you have your dots. Then this side you have your 0 times 2 raised to the power minus 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 2. Okay, so now we have that. In order to finalize this, we're going to do 2 raised to the power 1. Okay, so 1 times 2 raised to the power, this is going to give us 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 0. 2 raised to the power 0 is going to give us 1. So this is 2 plus 1 point. Now we have 0 times anything is going to give us 0 plus this is going to be 1 over 4. So this is 2 plus 1, that's um, 3 points. 0 plus 1 over 4, it's going to give us um, 1 over 4. So this is exactly equal to 3.25. You know, 1 over 4 is going to give us 2, 5. Now recall, this is going to not be what? Base 10. So as easy as that, you can convert decimal fractions from binary to decimal. 
so um if this is your first time of hitting this channel do not forget to hit the subscribe button and do not forget to click the notification bell so that you can get more questions and videos from us stay tuned